We got all our affairs in order. Well. Well, those warning signs were a complete and utter waste of fucking money. Because we don't have any two-handed weapon skill. Whoops. Whatever. All right. So, I guess I'll go repair my hammers, and then buy a handful of repair kits for my hammers. I don't have Ted Token just yet. Now's a good time to tie up any loose ends. Alright, so we go to Kamiyama Works. Oh. Uh, actually, there's one thing I want to do before we head there. You're that dear busty babes are waiting for you. Girls, get them while they're hot. Not for me. <laughs> I know you gave up the busty babes to be with a fat fuck like me. Talk about a downgrade. Oh my god. We're both fat. Yeah, but the difference between you and me is I ain't got titties. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Alright, where's our creepy-ass, wannabe, fake, noble-ass motherfucker? I want to see what kind of actual fucking weapon shit he can give me. Yo. You are not calling me that. The name's Tatsu Oshinata, just in case you're interested. Tatsu Oshinata? Tis a peasant name by my noble reckoning. Well, after me, it is pretty average compared to yours. That you present yourself to me can only be one thing. You wish to take lessons from me. Well, yeah, I thought I might check it out, but are your lessons really all that? <laughs> ha! Hearken to me, Shinada. You cannot judge me based on what you air to behold, what you air beheld. The skills I should teach are more precious than life itself. Of course, there is a matter of feudal service. I shan't lift a finger to help those who do not serve me. Maybe you forgot, but I saved you from those street punks. And that is why I deign to take you as my student, and so the debt is paid. Seriously? For a guy who talks about nobility, that seems awfully stingy. You serve me once, and I shall repay you in kind. Once you must... Once... I must keep things fair for my other bastards, after all. Okay, so what does a guy like you do for training around here? Anything's fine. I'm sure you can think of something despite your addled peasant brain. Sheesh, you can at least narrow it down a bit. Okay, let me think. I'm pretty broke, so anything to do with money is out of the question. Oh, I know. Very well speak. Man, could you be any more of an ass? Anyway, I've got some advice I can give you. Mm. You, advise me, don't be ridiculous. I don't take advice from peasants. Besides, my considerable prosperity could hardly be bolstered by your input. So you say, but you want a girlfriend, don't you? No, I do not. Oh, come on. This is just between the two of us. You really want one, right? Well, yes, my mother's been pestering me about getting married, so perhaps... See, I knew it. Just relax and trust me, and I'll set you up. Hmm, somehow it feels though you have tricked me into revealing this. You told me the truth, Leo Kuhn. That was the right thing to do. <coughs> do not press your luck, you of lowly birth. But very well, I shall acquiesce. But you must make yourself useful in your faithful service to me. There will be no less than time I'm utterly satisfied. Oh, you will be, especially considering the bar is so low. What was that? You think to mock me? Of course not. Now will you relax already? Fine, I'll take you at your word. Great, so here's the deal. You give me a lesson, if I like the advice, I give you. Or if you like the advice, I give you. Very well. I'm counting on you, Shinada. Do not disappoint me. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Train me. Let's train. Do you recall... Uh... seal service. Fine. Let's talk about your life. Not that I give a damn, but okay. Okay, I'll give you some advice about your life. Must you be so immodest about it? Ugh, go on. Before I can help you get a girlfriend, I need to know all about you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. All you have to do is answer. Very well, go on. Okay, let me ask you this. 
What's a relationship deal breaker for you? What would you consider a relationship deal breaker? Speaking to any man other than me, naturally it would utterly be utterly inexcusable. Isn't that a pretty high bar to set? Ah, such an ignorant peasant. You obviously don't understand the importance of protecting my noble lineage. This is worse than I thought. I don't know if my advice is going to help. Okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a girlfriend before? You already know the answer, but I suppose you want to hear me say it. No, I haven't. I see. Okay, then how about a one-night stand or something like that? An aristocrat such as I would never commit such an abhorrent act. I wouldn't even hold hands with the damsel unless we were at least dating. Agreed. Jeez, this guy's more naive than I thought. What type of girl do you like? A girl suited to my aristocrat aristocratic qualities. She must also be able to be a, from a family of some standing. Finally, she must have equal parts intelligent and comely. Never met a girl like that before. Maybe I've been looking in the wrong places. I see. Alright, Leo Kuhn, from what you've told me, we're going to need to change the way you think. A lot. Ha! You think your impaired peasant mind could hope to change how I think? Don't make me laugh. Based on what I've heard so far, I should... Give him some perspective? I guess. Listen, Leo Kuhn, you know how the universe is incomprehensibly vast? Pardon? Well, yes, I suppose it is. So what? Like, we think it's vast, but it's even vaster than that. Like, vastly so. Get to the point. Compared to the scale of the universe, things like being an aristocrat are utterly insignificant. No, they are not. No, think about it. We're talking about the universe here. It's really, really big. I fail to see how this is in any way relevant. I shan't be misled by such inane sophistry. This isn't working. I think I blew it this time. You must put forth more effort than that. I answered your meaningless questions, and yet I am still waiting proper advice. Perhaps I was right about you after all. Okay, sorry. Fuck. I was gonna say, I, I, I didn't... I could have brought up the thing. <laughs> yeah, you could have, but I should have had you do it, but I didn't think... I, I thought I was right. Based on what I've heard so far, I should give him a serious lecture. This can't go on, Leo Kun. Your whole way of thinking is wrong. What? You have not the authority to judge me so. No, you have to listen to me. It's not like I'm a hit with the ladies either, but you're way behind the times. Plus, never having dated a girl at your age is a huge red flag. Most women won't even touch you with a ten-foot pole once they hear that. I have only one thing to say to you, Shinada. Go to hell. I live by my own rules, and I shall not allow some witless peasant to violate them. Away with you, commoner. Whoops, he's really mad now. Motherfucker. How is taking him to the red light district the thing he so vehemently was opposed to? The right answer. Okay. Alright, I know there's no way I'm going to persuade you with words alone. Finally, some wisdom. I commend you for knowing your place, but you aren't going to give up that easily, are you? That's not what I meant. Get ready, Liu Kung, because I'm going to show you how to be a man in more ways than one. What? What? Giggity? I mean, Venusaur? What is this place? One of my favorite places. I reserve the most popular girl for you. What is the meaning of this? I couldn't possibly enter such an establishment. Oh, I should also mention, there's some pretty scary types running the joint. And they don't take kindly to sudden cancellations. Shinada, what have you done? Ayana Koji! Zounds, what are you doing? Don't be so uptight. But why do I have to... Ayana Koji! Fine, fine, I'll go. We're gonna get him laid? He's not gonna get laid. He was a failure. All done. So, how was it? How shall I explain? Many things don't seem as important anymore. Nice, I'd call that a breakthrough. What's that supposed to mean? Admit it, you had a good time. Don't change the subject. You had a good time, right? Y yes And you learned that it's okay not to set the bar so high? Yes. And there it is. Nice job, Leo Kuhn. You're on the stairway to manhood. I am? Er, I mean, I am, I suppose. Yes! Haha, <laughs> now you owe me. Ah, oh, fine, yes, I owe you. Sweet, I'm going to hold you to your word. Now, let's see. Maybe I'll have you buy me a TV. No, wait. How about a car? Then again, cash is always king. What, what are you babbling about? You said you wanted some training. Oh, right. I'm going to beat some good lessons into you, so you better prepare yourself. Whoa, I don't like the sound of that, but okay, I'll be back when I'm ready. I hate this. Well, we're not going to get that training because... Oh, come on! Now I find the ugly-ass chicken-headed motherfucker? Hey, is that... Son of a bitch! 
Yep, that's him, all right. Just look, just look at this adulterous asshole. Well, whatever, gotta get me some photos. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Are you off work? Huh? What's that? Don't be stupid, babe. You know you're my one true love. I told you, the others, they're just toys. Appetizers. Bun warmers at best. <laughs> no, I don't plan on sleeping with any more fans. Not for a while, anyway. <laughs> gotcha. Uh-huh. Seriously, wouldn't want another one cutting herself. Yeah, she should have gotten rid of it sooner. It's like, how do you not know you're incubating a fetus? Uh-huh. Don't I know it. Okay, I'm on my way right now. Hope you're ready to get naked. Man, that was some vile stuff you just spewed out there. And you still have the gall to cheat? Better follow this douche from a distance. Jesus Christ. He is like Mongo shit lord. Like I thought we were a scumbag, but holy fuck, we're we're like fucking the Pope compared to him. Yep. Hey, Michiru, it's me. Thanks for coming out here. Isn't this the perfect place for our secret rendezvous? Do you really have to talk so goddamn loud? Pipe down for fuck's sake. <laughs> Eeps, he's angry. Do you think that's hot? Almost as hot as when you're on stage. Holy crap, just shut up. Seriously, not another word. Listening to you wears me out. Hey, that's mean. Why are you even seeing me then? Because I want to rock that deviant little body of yours. Now keep your blowhole shut until we get to the room. Well, that must be the side chick. I'll slink along ever so silently until I catch the moment of truth. <laughs> Just gotta go ever so slowly. Hotel and wedding. Chrono. Chrono Hall. Wait, what? Did I lose them? No, okay. I was too busy looking up at the fucking hotel sign. Oh, are they heading to a love hotel? Oh, yeah, baby. Now it's about to get steamy. Yes. Now don't be shy. Let me see that money shot. Hey, what the? Stop it! Who the fuck are you? Get that camera out of here! Stop it, I said! Ew, who's this creepazoid? Can you please go away? Not until I smash that camera of his. Give me that shit! Heh <laughs> Sucks to be you, scumbag! I got what I came for, and away I go! Enjoy the rest of your day! Get back here, you cockroach! I mean, you're the cock who's a roach. <laughs> oh, <laughs> loser! Only Kiryu can do the running drop kicks. Whoop. You might want to close your eyes. It's about to get dizzy here. I'm just doing this now. <laughs> you can open your eyes if you wanted to see the fucking the goof I'm putting on him. Yeah, look at me goofing him up. I'm got him looking goofy! Oh, and then we switch it up! Oh, now we, now I'm running this way! See ya, punk ass bitch! Wait. Oh, do I have to run to my fucking editor? 
Oh, I might. Oh, I might actually lose this. What do I gotta do? Where do I gotta go from this? Question mark? Later, loser. Looks like I'm in the clear. Oh, okay. So I didn't want to wear him down. I just wanted to fucking report back you. Shinada-san, you did it. Those photos are priceless. Yamazaki's grimace of despair is gonna be on every tabloid across Japan. Courtesy of Nightlife Magazine. I gotta tell you, that was no walk in the park. Going around playing candid cameras, totally not my specialty. Nah, not at all. I'd say you're better off snapping compromising photos than writing dirty articles. This is seriously the work of a master. Sure, if you say so. Now let's talk money. You said you'd pay well for those photos, right? Of course, the cheap was strutting around like a peacock over them. 10,000 yen, that's not a whole lot again. Oh yeah, and Tatsuo hits the jackpot. You sure did. She not a sign. Thanks for coming through for us. And for all who hold entertainment sacred. I mean, he gave me 10,000 yen. Like, why are... He, Tatsuo hits the jackpot? You just made 60 bucks. Shut up. <laughs> He's a fucking loser. Right, where am I in relation to where I want to be? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to fight. I just want... Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck repairing my weapons. Fuck raising my weapon skill. Everything's just too far away. Well, I wanted to try and clear out this chapter. That doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. Like, I just wanted to repair my weapons and learn... Oh, for the love of fucking God. I didn't want to get in the middle of your bullshit. Oh. All right, knock his ass out. Anyway, for the love of fucking God, leave me the hell alone. If I can please do one fucking thing I want to do. God damn. Train me, you fucker. Let's train. Well, but we must needs change locales. Oh my god. So what shall we do? What? Aren't you supposed to decide that? But I know nothing about you. How do you expect me to impart my science onto you? Temper, temper, Leo Kuhn. Fine, let us begin with the contest. I'm quite skilled with weapons, so I'll be armed. You can fight barehanded or with a weapon. I'll allow you to do whatever you like. But don't expect any reimbursement if you wear out a weapon battling me. Any repairs might be required are coming out of your pocket. Alright. Let's get started. Are you prepared? Okay, I am Koji is far more dangerous than he looks. Ready to very well then, let the contest begin. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, he's actually beating my ass.
I might need to actually fucking heal. Guard, guard low, you know it's coming, fucking Shinada. the sweet finally god damn that took me way too long <sighs> yeah it's under for your punches during our lessons you brute what you told me to do whatever i want fool is your cranium truly empty what kind of vassal strikes his lord with all his strength wait when did i go from student to vassal Shinada, you must learn to show respect for those above your station. I do not know why I expect anything better of you, though. And you need to stop being such an ass face, Leo Kuhn, but fine. I apologize profusely for the accident of my birth. Happy? What? That is no apolo- Oh, never mind. I grow tired of this farce. At least I know what you're capable of. You're stronger than I thought. Oh, yeah, thanks. Now then, Shinada, did you pick up anything in our particular about my fighting style? Your fighting style? Uh, what are you doing? Why are you training if you cannot be bothered to pay attention? What have I told you about wasting my time? I am taking great care with each blow to ensure my weapons remain in pristine condition. There are ways to lower the stress upon your weapon no matter what technique you are using. Really, that's the first bit of master-like wisdom I've heard from you so far. Instant fool, show some respect. Relax, will you? It's just I need to play pro baseball, so I get that it's important to treat your equipment properly. I'll try to keep that in mind. I learned thrift mastery. Now then, consider this payment for your service. As my vassal, you have something. You have to do something else for me if you want another lesson. Never expect to learn anything like that. This feudal service thing is totally worth it. Ah, the very model of a peasant. I see you do know your place, after all. I look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Okay, and what ability is that? Weapon durability increases. <sighs> where did it put me? Uh, not, not too far away from where I want to be. Coaching garage will be to fish something up. Looks like this good fish spot over there. Too bad. We're not gonna go fishing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Is this the. Uh... Damn it, I was hoping to avoid the goddamn Victor Road qualifying assholes. Ugh. Yep, so much for progressing the fucking main story. Everything here is just wasting my fucking time. I literally just wanted to repair my weapons, buy some goddamn repair kits, maybe learn a weapon technique, which wasn't even what I was expecting it to be. I'm hungry and mad. I'm mad and hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. That's probably the leading cause of why I'm getting so fucking mad. <laughs> well, 
Like, whoever came up with the idea of only three meals a day is a fucking idiot, you know? So, what time is breakfast time, dear? If you're there. What time is breakfast time? What time is breakfast time? I don't know, early. No, like what? Like, what actual time do people say you should eat breakfast? I don't know, 8 o'clock. Okay. What time do people say you should eat lunch? Noon. Okay, what time do people say you should eat dinner? Like, 5 or 6. Okay, so there's your three meals a day. So, for 14 hours, you're not eating anything. 14. Right. So, shouldn't there be four meals a day? Maybe. 8 a.m., noon or 1, 6 p.m., and then, like, 9 or 10 p.m. Purchase a few repair kits. Not a whole lot of repair kits. Eh, whatever. I won't invest anything into them. Yeah, I had... I actually haven't quite had dinner yet. I don't think I did anyway. Did I eat at five or six? I don't know. I have a dirty plate over there, but I don't know if that was from breakfast or dinner. <laughs> Alright. Well, this was, as always, a colossal waste of time. Because now it is 9 o'clock, now it is time to call it, and I am sad because we couldn't do anything that I wanted to fucking do because everything takes so fucking long to do in this game. Yeah, it takes a minute. Like, I just wanted to fucking repair my weapons, learn something. I didn't want to fucking help him with his goddamn life story. But we had another story. No, we don't. He's, he's a fucking ass face. And sadly, thanks to us, he's not going to die a virgin. You know? Yeah. If I had just ignored him just once, the whole time, he would have died a virgin. That would have been great. Because he's a fucking... Mm. Anyway. <laughs>